You're not Hitler. You're not a Nazi. You don't deserve to be called that and demonized. Well, I I see I I see good things about Hitler also. I kind of thought this would be obvious. Um, you cannot separate the art from the artist. You can't. Before I get into this video, I want to say two things. One, just by clicking on this video, you've already made up your mind, and I truly encourage you to listen to what I have to say if you disagree with the title. Second, and this is where I think a lot of people who say the same argument as me kind of forget to include this fact, not only do I believe that you can't separate art from artist, I also believe that you wouldn't. You won't. Now before you begin, I, I know stuff off the surface. Okay, clearly you're a Tyler the Creator fan. Um, he said a lot of horrible stuff in his past too, right? Well, that's just it, his past. He is growing. You're looking at a 19 to 20 year old versus like, what's Kanye in his 40s? And this video isn't about Kanye entirely. It's kind of about anybody that you could apply this argument for, but Kanye. 2022 was when I just got like all the way into his discography. Don't ask me why it took so long. He was my number one artist on my Spotify wrapped. Um, and then you can't see him ever again on any future one. Here's the thing. I don't need to show you any more clips of Kanye. You've already decided how you feel about him before even watching this video. Nothing that I show you is gonna change your mind. You're either gonna listen to him and love him or you're gonna hate him and never listen to him again. All I ask is that you're honest with yourself and you're being truthful to how you actually feel about him. Listen, Kanye fans love Kanye, not just his music. And if you say you don't, I'd argue you're not listening to his music. <laughs> his songs are chronically autobiographical. Sure, there might be some features here and there, track on track, but for the most part, Kanye songs are about Kanye for Kanye. Separate art from artists? At the end of the day, it's the artist's art. Here's the problem. You're still supporting the artist. Well, what if I, what if I don't use Spotify or Apple Music? What if I use another thing? you're still drawing more attention to the artist. And you may be saying, Kanye has all the publicity he could ever need. Me doing it isn't gonna change anything. Look at the hole that you're digging yourself into. You're going further and further to defend your actions. Own that. If you're gonna listen to his music, you're gonna listen to his music. My argument is that you can't separate art from artists because that always seems like a coping mechanism or like some sort of defense if people are like, oh, you listen to Kanye now? It's like, okay, I don't want to present that I agree with his statements, but I still want to listen to his music, so I'm separating the art from the artist. But if you had it your way, behind the covers, you wouldn't give a crap about what Kanye says. You've already decided if you're going to cut him out or not. For me, it wasn't difficult, and I love some of his songs. For some people, they might be their favorite songs of all time and that's a lot more difficult. All I ask or all I propose is that you reconsider the concept of separating art from artist and you reconsider what you use to define art.